Okay, today's video I meant to get out a couple days ago, but I obviously wanted to make that edit and make uh, the Cubs video too, so I guess you could say this is a uh, late video, but maybe it's early for some of you guys if you're going to Colts training camp tomorrow like I am with a group of friends. Um, they might be thinking like the media is saying, well, the Colts defensive backs are not great. The back end's not great, which means the Colts defense overall is not going to be as good as last year. But I ask you, first of all, was the, those defensive backs the same as they are uh, this year? And the, the, yes, yes, the answer is yes. Okay. Um, they're young, they're gritty, and they dominated my third day of going to camp. So this is really my camp recap from last time I went, was the thing that jumped off the page to me was DB plays. And, and this will make you happy, Colts fans, Layatu Latu, the defensive end picked at 15 overall, was incredible, disruptive off the edge. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's what's going to help your DBs as well. If your DNs are doing good and getting to the quarterback, your defensive backs are going to do great as well. So I have never really had too much doubt in the DBs due to the DNs, linebackers being able to, to go and get tackles for losses, especially EJ Speed. Sayer's more a tackle cross the field guy, but uh, EJ, obviously, amazing TFL type of guy. Um, so again, these DBs are getting underrated by the media, by fans. But again, just watch what they're going to do. Because I'm telling you right now, Juju Brent Slade to do doubt. Yeah, Juju lay the guy out. That that was my second time in camp. Didn't even mention that to you guys because I was like, oh, it's just one play. But no, Juju went went crazy. Jalen Jones had a play where he was burnt at the very beginning of camp. After that, he locked in. Um, you had you, you had some other DBs who I I, I didn't even freaking recognize. Every single DB, even on the second unit, really was doing incredible. Uh, I think that there's been a uh, urge, maybe by coaches and others to uh, get better, and they've stepped up to the call. So, again, Colts' defensive backs are on the rise. The defense in general is insane right now. I think they got the two of the best linebackers in the league, EJ and Zaire. Um, again, a very underrated cornerback core, and they really have the best D-line in football. So you combine all of that together, and you're like, wow, okay. But are you just excusing Anthony Richardson? Well, let's get to him just at the end here. Um, Richardson had a very good end two-minute drill drive, other than he had one um, intentional grounding, which kind of stalled the drive out, and then they missed the field goal because they used the backup kicker. Um, it was a 54-yarder. It would have been a 54-yarder for game, something that Matt Gay made last year against Baltimore, right? So not a terrible situation. Um, again, for a day that was dominated by DBs, Anthony Richardson went like four in a row on passes, so... Pretty good there to end camp, but uh, I think it was less of, oh, wow, AR struggling to, wow, these DBs are playing their tails off. So really good from the Colts. Really excited for tomorrow's camp, and I'll give you guys more updates when I get there. Half-flag time out here.